Hey there, Crystal and Justin here with OurSleepGuide.com. Today we're going to be reviewing the Zenus 12-inch Green Tea Memory Foam Mattress. So let's get started. So this is going to be one of the most, if not the most popular mattress that's bought on Amazon. Uh, currently, last I checked, it had over 28,000 uh, reviews Woo! on Amazon. So we figured it was about time we checked it out to see what this very budget-friendly mattress was all about. Uh, it, it, this one is going to be uh, the 12-inch model. There's actually going to be a 6-inch, 8-inch, 10-inch, and a 12-inch model, all varying a little bit in the materials as well as the feel. Uh, this one's going to have four layers in it, with the top being memory foam, a transition layer, and then two uh, base foams that kind of work together. So um, we're just going to jump right into the review and tell you all about it. So talking about comfort, everybody wants to know, hey, is this a comfortable mattress? Should I buy it? Um, I mean, obviously for people on a budget, this is going to be a, a more interesting review for you. Uh, where this, for us, it's pretty dang soft. Um, it, I prefer to be on more of a medium firm type mattress. Uh, I could see some of the advantages for people if you're maybe a little bit lighter and you like to sleep on your side. That would be somebody who I would say would like this a little bit more. For me on my back, I prefer just more support. Um, one of the unique things about this mattress is, is you're going to have four different layers and on the very bottom of it, you have some convoluted foam that runs through it. And I think that that adds to some of the extra softness. So if your hips are, are in one of those channels, it's going to sink that base foam down a little bit more and it's going to create a little bit more of a ditch like feeling. Um, so for those of you out there who do like that, that's going to be a plus for you. For me, um, I would prefer something just a little bit firmer. Crystal, what do you think? Yeah, even though I'm a side sleeper, um, I typically lean a little bit more towards a medium feeling mattress just because I don't like to sink in too much. Um, I also like to sleep on my stomach and my back occasionally too. So having something a little bit more on that medium ground is a little bit better. Um, I was noticing that the fact that this is softer but also memory foam uh, you do really kind of feel like you're really cocooned into it when you're sleeping on your side uh, so when you are trying to switch to position to position uh, it doesn't get a little more difficult uh, so you know if like justin said i really do see this benefiting maybe somebody who's on the lighter side and really likes to sleep on their side uh, but i definitely don't think it would have the support to really hold up a heavier sleeper um, or if you just need something that's more supportive in general. Right, and the other thing is, is for a heavier s sleeper, we're always thinking about long-term effect too. Yeah. And so if you get something that's really soft out of the gate and you're, you're just questioning some of the durabilities of the foam inside of it, that's where some of the, the longevity of this mattress may not hold up to your standard. So motion transfer, sleeping cool, and edge support on this mattress. Let's just talk about the edge support of the bed. You know, edge support wise, when I get right up to the edge of this mattress, it's not going to be the world's greatest edge support. Some of that convoluted foam that's uh, on the base of this mattress, I feel like that kind of crushes down a little bit and it allows you to slide out. Um, but again, a mattress isn't really necessarily made for all of someone's weight to be sitting on one corner of the bed and for you to expect that it's going to be a really solid, uh, firm structure. So the biggest thing is, is when you're laying on the mattress, how is that going to perform? Are you going to feel like you're rolling in the bed, out of the bed, or are you just going to be going directly up and down, which is the good thing to do? Crystal, what do you experience when you're doing this? Um, honestly, I do feel a little bit like I'm being rolled out of the bed. Um, even moving in a few inches, I still feel like there's a little bit of a lack on my right side opposed to my left side when it comes to support. And, and what that would be a result of, of the mattress just being soft. So yeah. it, it's, it's not that Crystal's right arm weighs 20 pounds more than her left arm. It's just that it's a soft mattress and she feels like she's just rolling out just a little bit. So on something like this, if you are on a queen size mattress and it is important to utilize all of the space of the bed, uh, keep that in mind uh, that you're probably going to end up sleeping probably three to four to five inches on the inside of the mattress. And one thing I will say too is that if you are on your side and you get closer to the edge, it actually feels less uh, of a difference in change than if you're like on your back or your stomach where more of your body spread out evenly, oddly enough. So um, if you are a side sleeper, sleeping up right on the edge probably won't be as bad as if you're a back sleeper actually. Mm -hmm. 
So uh, one important thing for me is whether or not the mattress slept cool. I'm a very warm sleeper. This is gonna be an all foam bed. It's 12 inches thick and it is very soft. So I didn't notice that I really sunk down deep into it. So it is gonna re definitely retain some heat in this mattress. One of the benefits that this does have is where it does have that convoluted foam. Um, that is gonna create a little bit of better heat dissipation inside of the mattress. But again, this isn't gonna be a hybrid mattress. Um, this isn't a mattress that has a little added density where you ride up on top of it. So for those of you out there who wanna have a mattress that isn't gonna keep that body temperature as, as hot, um, you may wanna look in a little different direction. Um, what else we got, Crystal? Yep, uh, the other thing is motion transfer, which is actually gonna be a benefit when it comes to this mattress because anytime you have an awful mattress, anytime you have a softer mattress, uh, and anytime you're utilizing memory foam, those are all gonna be really great factors of keeping motion transfer to a minimum, if not even existent at all. Uh, so this mattress is gonna do a really good job of making sure that your partner is not disturbed, whether you're tossing and turning, getting out of bed, uh, or anything like that. So that's, that is one plus when it comes to having a mattress like this. For sure. So again, this is gonna be the Zenus 12 inch uh, green tea memory green foam mattress. Green tea. Yep, and this is found on Amazon. It again, is gonna be their most popular selling mattress. Uh, there is going to be a 10 inch model, an 8 inch model, and a 6 inch model. And I would assume with the thinner you go, the firmer the mattress is going to get. So if you are looking for something that's kind of got to offer a little bit more of a firm option, you do have some fluctuation. Uh, also, the price point of this mattress is going to be where it really is the, the kicker. When you can find a mattress that's this thick under $300, uh, there might be some variation depending on what when you're looking for it. but. This is gonna be a fairly inexpensive mattress, which is why it is one of their top sellers. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's kind of something to keep yeah, in mind. Yeah, yeah, keep in mind, it's just all about your expectations. Yes, so for sure. it, this is gonna be an inexpensive mattress. So for those of you out here, there who don't have a lot of money to spend, this is something that you wanna consider. For those of you out there who wanna have a mattress that's gonna hold up for a longer period of time, it's gonna make more sense, in my opinion, to invest a little bit or a lot more money than this. Um, it, this could be good for a college student, spare bedroom, that type of stuff. For sure. um, just somebody out there who doesn't have a lot of cash on hand and you just need a place to sleep. Right. Um, but One thing to keep in mind is that this is going to be through Amazon, which doesn't offer a trial period. So don't get this with the thought process of, oh, I'll try it out for a few nights and then send it back if it doesn't work out. And that's one of the reasons that's, why it's a little bit cheaper exactly, too. Exactly, exactly. Um, and then also, um, some of the other things, it might come with free shipping depending on if you're an Amazon Prime member. Uh, otherwise, there might be a small shipping fee as well. Um, but definitely go back over to OurSleepGuide.com because we actually have uh, our page that features all of the top Amazon mattresses. And this is definitely on there as being one of those ones that gets a lot of people's attention because of the price point and how many people it really does um, kind of cover with all of their different options. But anyway, uh, definitely give us a thumbs up if you like this review. Subscribe to our channel for all future reviews. And if you have questions or comments, leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. So until next time, Crystal and Justin with OurSleepGuide.com. Happy sleeping.